we are the Boys Who Booze, mm -hmm. and we have drinks associated with our respective zodiac signs. Oh. However, there are three of the four of us who are the cancer. same. <gasps> I'm one of those kids who's not like the other one. Yeah, like on we, Sesame Street. Should we do a special episode about you? One of these kids is not <laughs> like the other one. One of these kids isn't the same. <laughs> we were singing that about you before you got here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to the Boys Who Booze. I'm gonna make you uh, a drink that I kind of created on my own and it's really based on my zodiac sign. I'm a Cancer. My drink is going to be called The Pool. So we'll go ahead and we'll just jump right into it. We're gonna take our coconut rum and we're gonna do one shot. And I don't like to use shot glasses. I, I like to use the, uh, the cap from the shaker. You can always pour even more in if you want to. Just like that. We're gonna do one shot of vodka, Tito's vodka. Extra. For the blue curacao, I'm not a big sweet fan, so, and this is an orange liqueur, so we're gonna do about half a shot of this. So just a half a cap. It's really to give it a little bit of orange flavor and also that blue color, because uh, we're going down to the pool. And we're gonna do two shots of pineapple juice. And this is unsweetened pineapple juice, because again, I'm not a big fan of the sweet. And then we're gonna take the lemon, and we're gonna squeeze half of one lemon into this. That's a big lemon. Give it a nice squeeze. Then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take one whole lime and we're gonna squeeze the lime in. Just wanna get that delicious citrus flavor in there. Okay, and we've got all of our ingredients in. We're gonna go ahead and give this a shake. All right, look at that blue color. All right, so let's take a cherry, throw a little cherry in there. Get a little color for our garnish. Here we go. All right guys, let's go down to the pool. Cheers. I All made right. you guys some shots. If you want to grab a blue yes. shot glass, let's give this one. We can one cheers a with spin. my giant and your babies. Dan, this is colorful and yes. wonderful. It's, it's bright. It looks and like exciting. Y'all want to like, go down to the pool? I'm sure. I haven't even tried it. It yet. looks like the, the Little Mermaid. So it doesn't have the sweetness to it. Yeah, it's it's, um, it's very cruise shippy in a yeah. good way. Like it's, in a good way. Yeah. It actually looks really like blue diabetes, but it tastes very good. Yeah, it just looks really sweet yes. and like. But it's not. Okay. The pineapple juice is unsweetened pineapple juice, which is probably the sweetest thing in there. So. Okay. It is delicious and strong. Thanks. It's very strong. Yeah. yeah. I actually like it. It's really nice. It's very of course, nice. you know I like sweet things. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be making you a drink called the Crab Claw. My sign, I'm a Cancer, whatever that means. I don't really think too much into it. So let's go ahead and get started. So what we need first is we're gonna take a one, we're gonna have one shot of each of uh, the Golden Girls. Rose, she's good. And then we're gonna go one shot of Blanche. Everyone likes Blanche. Nice little party. Dorothy, right here. Let me go ahead and lock these girls up. All right? We're gonna go and get to the most fun of all, Sophia's friends. One, two, three, and then three shots of OJ. One, dos, tres. And then three shots of pineapple juice. Go ahead and get some good old dull pineapple juice up in here. Okay, well, you know, two and a half shots will work. Then you're gonna go ahead and put it on your shaker. Put your little, little shake, shaker Yeah. Right? Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and open it. It won't open. Um, oh, there we go. Got it open. Pour it all in. Look at that nice, red color, just like crabs, just like my sign. Well, I don't have crabs, but just like my sign, my zodiac sign. Nice little garnish of orange, just a for pop of color. Mmm. This is like a punch you would have at a party to knock you out. Well, cheers. Oh, cheers. To... Cheers. Mm. Oh. Mm. oh, Anthony, that's pretty good. That's really good. Yes. It's like a party punch, yes. and that's dangerous. This will fuck you up. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I am actually the only non-cancer in the boys who booze. I am a Libra. Libras are loyal, they're creative, balance um, and harmony are very important to them. So the drink that I'll be making for you today, 
I named the Indecisive Artist. It's got some weird things, but all in the end it all works together. It also is very important that it's very cold. I didn't want to shake it because it's got some carbonated stuff in it. So let's just get started, how about that? So first, uh, we're gonna take pineapple juice. We wanna put a little bit of that. Then we're gonna take amaretto. It gives with the pineapple a little kind of like a, like a kind of creamy aftertaste. We just put a little splash of that in there. You can make uh, this kind of concoction beforehand and put it in the fridge so it's cold. Also, you wanna use Prosecco. This is open already because this is not the first one of these I've made tonight. Fill up your glass. I'm just gonna take a tiny splash of gin, just like, well, like my friend Alan says, why the fuck not? Then lastly, you take your mixture of the amaretto and the pineapple juice, and you can put in as much as you'd like. It's unsweetened pineapple juice. I'm just gonna put all of this in. Kind of the only sweet thing is, is the amaretto. So just give that a little stir. As you can see, it looks very classy and elegant, like most Libras are, if I do say so myself. It's delicious. I like that little creamy aftertaste from the Di Sereno. After a few of these, I'm pretty much up for anything. Cheers. It smells like bath water. Oh, it's delightfully bubbly. Yeah, it really bubbles. Gives a little sweet, sour sweetness. My tongue tastes creamy. <laughs> well, Jonathan, yes. that is You didn't delicious. finish all of yours. Well, I, you do not like it? I. Mm. Oh, okay. Do you just want to hate mine on principle? No, I, I had nothing but good things sure. to say about your drink. Next. I just wanted to make sure he drank it all. So today we're making Zodiac inspired drinks. And as you know, I'm a Cancer. Cancers are usually described as being spontaneous and unpredictable. There's a bunch of adjectives that I actually don't think mean anything. So I actually took a different spin on this and went with the birthstone for July, which is a ruby. So I've got ruby red grapefruit, some whiskey, some IPA, and a jalapeno because cancers are spicy. We're gonna start with the ruby red grapefruit. I've got a shaker with some ice, and I'm gonna do two ounces, two shots of ruby red. Bam! Then I'm gonna add a shot of whiskey. Like that. I'm also going to cut some of this jalapeno. Now, I'm gonna cut a bunch of slices, but I'm gonna save one for the rim. Throw it all down in there, cap it off, give it a good shake. Pour. Now at this point you're wondering, Alan, what about this IPA? That's what's next, so calm down. We're just gonna top it off, actually, with the IPA, and then we're gonna get all the seeds out because nobody wants to eat the seeds. Tastes like a cancer. <laughs> this is, you know what? I have to be honest with you. I haven't named this drink yet. We were supposed to name these and I haven't done it. So I'm gonna ask the guys to help me when I share it with them later on. But uh, in the meantime, cheers. I am the third cancer of the group and I am proud to share with you what I call the uh, Ruby Masturbator. Uh, <laughs> I, I that's agree. A step that I forgot. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll name it. We'll name it. Let's well, name help it. me name it. Can, and, can um, I have a Prilosec with this? Actually, there run. is a crushed Prilosec on the rim. Oh, great. <laughs> can we try it now? No, just kidding. This is great. good. Mm. I would so drink, like I this. wish, I, w I would like, I would drink one of these. Yeah? Yeah, like a uh, glass with, uh, like, on the rocks. I think you should call it the Creeping Heat. The Creeping Heat? Yeah. The I like the taste The of Red it. Creeper. The red creeper. Well, it's not red though. The ruby creeper. The ruby creeper? Great, I like ruby creeper. A lot of people dismiss astrology as hokum. Mm -hmm. I think it's easy to look into something and be like, oh my God, that's so me. I don't know, I, I, I believe in it, but at the same time, I think it's more of a, you make it what you want kind of situation. I have a hard time believing that the position of the planets and the stars have any bearing whatsoever on our personality traits. If we go take a break, I'm gonna pee my pants. <clears throat> in a bucket. Yeah. Security loving, mm -hmm. determined and persistent. I could say that about Dan. Youthful and lively. Oh, I can say that about Dan, no. 